Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain this press tool and false angle. It's two important things. As you can see, if you simulate things, these two patterns that are swing to each other, and as you can see, uh, when this pattern want, uh, wants to swing to this pattern, look at this image. For example, this is pattern one, this is pattern number two, pattern number one, pattern number two. When you select a swing segment, in the settings, we have two type. Look at here. Going to edit swing in a 2D, select it in its settings. And as you can see, we have a custom angle and turn. I want to explain it because it's relative to the press tool. As we can see, we have an angle here. Look at this. This is a custom angle. The custom angle means flat. It means this is direction of the pattern number one. And as you can see, try to continue the curvature. And when you swing two part, it looks like this. It's crazy. But if you turn it to the turn, we don't have this curve. Simple. That's it. If you turn it to turn and simulate it again, as you can see, it falls down and you cannot see it here, but in some cases we have it. Nice. But the press tool, it's, it's actually, it looks like its name. It's pressing the pattern to each other automatically. You don't need to select going to the swing, select it. It's very easy. Select the press tool, let's press it. The press the folded angle. First, it, you have to select the overall pattern, over pattern. It hide and it lets you select other pattern that you want to press to each other. Select and do it. It's press and then you can select it. Nice. So select first, it's hiding, then select second and it's done. It's press tool. It's very easy, do it automatically for you. To better seeing that, you can select this pattern here. <clears throat> select this uh, segment here and turn on simulation and select it. And as you can see, we have a fold angle here. It's 118 and you can change it. Change the strings, more power. And as you can see, it's fall, trying to fold. Look at this. See that? Change the angle, fold angle. It's all about fold. Now it's turned in this direction. So it's very important to designing your classes. So play with the fold anger with the higher strings. And the fold render, if you turn it on, and as you can see, if you turn the fold render off it's smooth but if you turn the fold rendering on you can see that facets that break broken edges here just it's all about seeing things visual things okay so you learn the press tool and the playing with fold angle hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release